previously on Kanju. Hello boy, what's up? You miss Petra so soon? Fuck, the work has happened. Noella is trending on Facebook. What do you mean? Someone noticed her accent on Facebook and posted about her saying her accent on social media due to the fact that she's pregnant. Now we are at the crossroads. This is a secret the family has kept jealously and one post, just one post, exposes it to the world like a false enos in the wind. Yo, you're an alpha. Will you shut up? Is this right? Yes, sir. Last night, I was called to come to the class at 2 a.m. And when I got there, he was seriously drunk and weak. And after questioning him this morning, he told, he, he told me that you gave him alcohol. Sir, don't drink alcohol. Kenjo! Romantic smell for that chop, they make her smile with me. No, ah, ah, party party. Me, I know the enemy. No, why you blast me so? See, a nice man. Just find two way you can for final. Come, not go outside so much more. Party party, come, come, so me. Hello. Hi, bye bye. They do me very badly. My skin will do me some harm. Oh no, and you have quite a temperature. Have you had drugs yet? No, I never had the drug. Okay, let me get you fever drugs from the first aid box. If you still feel feverish tomorrow, you can go to the hospital for consultation, okay? What's actually wrong with you? That face scares me. Frank, stop it, okay? I'm stupidly broke right now. And my account is as empty as a pit. Where is this money not long ago? I don't pay tight, my dear, so what's wrong? Frank, the broke is supposed to be on the We spend money like there's not money. When are you looking for protection? That's the wrong question, already. Ask her when now she transferred the shop of shoes and clothes back to the south. <laughs> Seriously, Brandy, you spend so much money and that's not a good practice. Brandy, I didn't ask you for your money. So just control your mouth on my matter. Auntie, money is the cure to the illness called broke. And you are suffering from it. Let me ask. Whenever the sinner spoke of your long ones, do you even say it, Brandy? Because I clearly remember it was just last week you received money. And today you're complaining about being broke. This is strange. I said I was broke. 
I didn't ask you all to give me boring and irritating lectures about many issues. Remember, everyone faces tough time. And yours is around the corner, trust me. Let me recommend you a book from Robert Kiyosaki because that's what you need right now. I'm <laughs> time for one life for you coming. Ouch! What's wrong with her? Bro! Why exactly did you say you kept this in wallet? Because I don't get how your wallet would just be serious if you kept this in just like that. Man, this is serious. My Visa card and a whole bunch of complimentary cards are inside. If I lost them, I don't know I'm ever gonna retry them. Bro, you need to calm down now. Yeah. Maybe you have just kept it somewhere you have forgotten. Who went to? Who came to your room immediately when you've not come down? Brandy. Yes, Brandy was here. I left her when I to put those fruits in the fridge. Mm. Oh boy, you know she was in the ISO. Hell no. I don't think she can steal my wallet. Where did such an idea come from in the first place? Frank, you need to be reasonable for once. Just yesterday, Brandy was complaining of being broke. And today, immediately she leaves your room. Your wallet is nowhere to be found. Boss, I'll ask you. Randy, you're right. How come I didn't think about it? Uh, well, that's because of the text, Randy. You're welcome. Don't kill out! Brandy, just accept, okay? And let all these bad vibes be over. So, where's the wallet? How many times am I going to tell you? I have no idea. I didn't steal the wallet. Wait, let's get this right. You're in Frank's room and when you left, he couldn't find his wallet. No, you guys know what being broke can lead to. I swear, I didn't steal his wallet. I was watching a movie while he left to keep fruits in the fridge and I'm coming back I had left because I was bored. That story is not clear, Brandy. Seriously. I'm not brand to be a lot of things, but not the thief. Hold it right there. Why won't you support her when she has promised to give your own share? Enough. Brandy, just speak the truth. Every evidence points to you. Brooke is the mother of a missing wallet. I didn't steal the wallet. Believe me! Thief, you can have the money since that's what you want. Just make sure to bring back the documents in my wallet. I didn't steal the money! Thank you. Poor Brandy, it's your turn. I can't find any of them. Hope you have added them to my wallet, Brandy. Frank, I didn't steal your wallet. So you guys should stop treating me in this house as if I'm a thief. Only God alone knows where you kept your wallet. Just listen to the soft tone you're using. Use that same tone to explain where my wallet is at the banana too. Don't think this is over. By the weekend, if you don't return my wallet, everybody from the country family will know. Brand, no peace to you return my wallet. No peace to you return my wallet. No peace to you return my wallet. You can man, put those legs down. Oh, oh, Davin, let me just enjoy this alone for once now, please. Hi. Keep your room tidy and you enjoy it forever. Which family are we talking about here? I should not just be included in Jesus' name. Amen. What's the big mess all about? Me, you, in fact, all of us in this together. Guys, I found the wallet. Where? Oh my goodness. Brandy finally returned it. Not really. Your kids found lost in the taxi and thought he brought it home because he only knows this after he has spent hours at home. Who 
already there. The taxi driver found another more document, so he called and returned it. I told you guys, didn't I? After traumatizing Brandy, she isn't a thief. Oh, God, why did you listen to Randy in the first place? Huh? What did I say? You convinced me that the woman was stolen by Brandy because she was the last person who left my room. Hey, but of course now. You complained of a missing woman. What did you expect me to say? You would have been quiet. Hey, hey. So, I am a bad person now, right? Yes, you are. You should have let me figure it out myself. You just made my mind look unthinkable. Now, see why you are standing with us. Frank, your brain is first of all unthinkable. How can a big man, big guy like you, Jock is wallet in the taxi. I even doubt it if, if, if you even pay the job yourself. Enough of this nonsense. If you both want to argue like children, you go outside. Instead of finding out a way of apologizing to Brandy, you two are here acting like two hungry kids scrambling over bread. So unbelievable. Brandy peppered them. You're not left out of the mess, Auntie. Hey, Bran. 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 Mueller said, Pepper Ding. I think this is what it means. Frank, do you have the apology here to embrace it with you? Yes, but I'm scared to go so Bran can show me right now. Shut up, Frank. Go first. We are after you. Besides, you are the one who accused her firstly. I am the worst in this case, so I am just the one. I suspected her when I wasn't supposed to. It can only be you, Randy. Look how you've landed us. All this nonsense here isn't making sense. Let the first person go in first. Okay, we are after you. Lord, leave me. Let the owner of the wallet go in. Oh, Randy, you inspired this mess in the first place. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at him there. Why did he first of all drop his wallet in the taxi? She's coming, she's coming this way. Guys, I have an idea. Immediately Brandy walks in. Let's all shout, we are sorry. Uh, don't you think she'll be more offended? Mm. We are talking about false accusations here. Dear Jesus, please help us make this work. Amen. Lord, I buy the idea because I don't want to face her after all the harsh words. Remember, after the general apology, meet her in private and apologize. That will solidify it. We are sorry, Brandy. Before I complete my forgiveness process, let me have my apology earrings and bracelet. <laughs> 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 You're welcome, Caleb the Cash. Thanks, thanks. Um, you know, whenever we meet, it brings back great memories from the holidays we all spent at Grandpa's house. I'm so glad to be here, man. Where was that? Oh, KK, you're in the US. Mm, I must have missed so badly. Very badly, too. Glad this was fun. Yeah, it's just so cool to be with family again. You know, it's a repeat of Grandpa's house before they snatched him away. Ah, come on, Caleb. Don't make it sound like grandpa was young. That man was old, so he has gone to rest. Eh? <laughs> one day and five years is not one day and five days. Thank you very much. I even forgot about the age. But to be honest, last week in grandpa's house was great. I remember when Caleb and Brandy sneaked out of the house too. <laughs> to buy fish and juice, and when they have approached the compound, grandpa found it with a long kiss. Oh, you still remember that? <laughs> Who forgets such a memorable day? Grandpa took the fish and gave it to the dog. And we're lectures with the juice. 
choose because we didn't take permission. She <laughs> <laughs> almost killed myself. <laughs> you could kill yourself. Maybe by now we can be referring to you as ancestor brandy. Or late brandy. Well. <laughs> brandy, brandy. <laughs> oh. Boy, you're in the wrong place. Even if you slept throughout biology lessons in school, at least you'll recall that nicotine and tar are very poisonous substances one could let into the system. It can only get into the system through smoking. My dear Caleb is sniffing drugs here like Randy sniffing his way into the kitchen when Patricia is cooking. He even calls himself an athlete. <laughs> so loud that he was locked up in the port. What happened? Hmm. He went to deliver the port of Europe for the sake of yesterday. It was eaten completely by God knows who. So she just thought it was Randy, you know, eats more than everybody else. Randy eats much, but such an act doesn't sound like he would do. If you ask me, I'll tell you, Caleb is the main suspect. You started with him. What have I started? I'm just being honest. That seems suspicious. Samiro's earning our niece in front of Randy. Huh, please, stop it. He said you have money for apology, which is sneaker. Of course not. You're on your own on this one. Carl! What's wrong with you, man? The last time you tried to stick up cigarette, we told you it wasn't permitted, and now this. Ah. You're going to ruin your life, man. These things only harm us and nothing else. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Lloyd. <laughs> it's just very little inspiration. <sighs> Where's the ham in it? Besides, let me ask, am I the only one who takes it these days? <laughs> you are not the only one, okay? <laughs> but you might miss an opportunity that might cost you everything. I am sure you are the one who shed all the pot of because your level of addiction is so unbelievable. <laughs> Come on. 
You mean that delicious arrow? <laughs> oh. Seriously, you need help. <laughs> Do we not say the or what? That's not what I mean. Yeah. What I'm saying is, we all have been watching football compulsorily. Oh, yes, ma'am. Football is life. That was so interesting about this film. Let's enjoy Super Sport for a while. After that, the TV is all yours. That don't fall for it. Let us watch a movie two for one. So it ends, football can wait. This movie must end. Yeah, today for me. Mm -hmm. Who is this? This is another name for Petra. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey guys, I'm going up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going out. I'm stuck on the cigarette. What's happening to this Caleb? He never used to be like this. Did he even say he was going out? Oh. He probably told the neighbors, not us. Lloyd, you guys handle them. Okay. Every house has rules, and I know you know the rules of this house. How come you leave without telling anyone where you're going to? Look at the time. It's 25 past 11. I don't think it was a big deal, man. Besides, I'm back now, right? No need for all the questions, okay? I have to go to bed. Stay right there and explain yourself. First, it was a photo of suicide. Now, cigarette and midnight. Have you ever thought about what you're doing to your future? My future is my business, okay? I just came here so I'll be close to the office so I'll be interviewed tomorrow. So chill. I'm done so. You are family. No one is driving you away. But with this nasty attitude, I can't show my nose if you're not careful. Good night, guy. He needs help. that Caleb has developed, he might not be comfortable with such a great opportunity. Seriously, no matter how talented a person is, he's bound to fail if he doesn't act right. Kiki, he told me it was a final test for all our little the children. I remember seeing the cigarettes right. Caleb is not the same person I was with in Grandpa's house. He has changed to the worst version. He knew he had to be evaluated, but all along his attitude has not been the best. I'm worried. I better be worried about what Patty's cooking in that kitchen. Patty! See what you've lost, Caleb. You knew you were coming from an athletic evaluation. Yet you spend your time on drugs and cigarettes, huh? Who does that? Nobody could stop you. Now, see where it has landed you. How many of such opportunities would you ever get? Caleb, you might never get this one. Is this supposed to be a consolation or a lecture? Please, let me pardon my cane, okay? Kale, if only you knew how much we love you. You know, I have earlier warned you against drugs. If you think I'm going to console you, to hell with you. Let go! Let go! Kale, have you gone mad? You screwed up an opportunity of a lifetime and I want to break it to somebody else. Stop this fire breaking ass beaten. What's going on here? You're going to talk about foxy face.
first cousin. Kitty, where were you when you left? Left? Where to? I thought you knew. I didn't. When? How? Can you please tell me what's going on? Frank and I went to see him up since nice man went for his friend's funeral. So this house is now a strange hotel. Everybody comes and goes as they wish. What a strange attitude. How can somebody come and spend a couple of days with the family and live without informing everybody? It was terrible. He almost picked up a fight again today with Patipati. Pati. That's why Frank and Daphne had to go see him off. He blames everybody for his trouble. Meanwhile, he casts it. Seriously. Caleb needs help, because the Caleb that came here is not the one I know. Good evening, guys. Just a few days from Caleb, the house has turned upside down. First, it was a pot of air he had alone. Second, is cigarettes. What kind of a person eats a pot of cigarettes alone? The kind that is addicted to drugs. How come we never knew about it? You know, when I found out, I tried to advise him. But he was hostile towards me. So I thought it right to give him some time. That's why I never mentioned it. The drugs and the secrets are probably the reason why he didn't make this evolution. I now know why. Guys, guys, check your room. Caleb, I told you my door. Check your room. Check your room. Caleb, the magnet. Nothing a day we pass the family. We pass the family. We pass the family. Nothing a day we pass the family. We pass the family. We pass the family. Nothing a day we pass the family, we pass the family, we pass the family. Yeah, can do.